What is up, friends, YouTube, and Motorcycle Enthusiasts Accelerate coming at you with a review of how this fixed my leaking fork seal on my YZ250FX. Stick around. Alright guys, so my YZ250FX uh, had a great time in West Virginia bruising my ribs whenever I crashed. Before that I was doing really great having fun riding it. Um, there's not going to be a clip of that at all. So moving forward. All right, so whenever I got the YZ cleaned up, I did notice that I had a leaking fork seal on my front left. Now, this uh, fork seal probably has about 50 hours on it, um, if that, so probably shouldn't be leaking. After a little bit of research, I found that there is a tool out there called the Sealmate that ultimately will get in there, clean the dirt and granulars out of granules? Granulars, right. We'll clean the dirt out of the seal. The, it ultimately could be keeping the uh, seal from closing flush perfectly against the inner uh, tube, uh, which ultimately causes the, the oil to leak. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about how the seal mate works and what I did and what the results are. All right, so the concept behind the seal mate is very, very easy. First thing you have to do is you have to get to where your fork seal is and ultimately remove the dust cover. So we have to do that. All right, for those that have never removed the dust cover before, super easy. We're just going to use a flat blade screwdriver, work it in there, and then literally just give it a turn and ultimately the dust cover should slide down and out of the way. So. Now this is going to expose the tube itself and then ultimately where the seal is. This is where the seal mate comes in. So this little guy takes a little bit of effort. Ultimately what you want to do is work it up past the seal uh, that's, that's in the um, internal portion of the tube. Once the seal's in there, it's going to create a leak and you're going to lose some oil obviously because you have a big plastic thing up in there and you're going to completely do a 360 two to three times to ultimately hook the dirt and grime that has built up in the seal. Now you can see that my seal mate has had a little bit of use and sure enough, I had a little bit of a hard time getting it up in the seal. So one of the things you can do and I highly recommend is conforming it to the, uh, the inner tube itself and then rotating it up in, working this uh, slow curvature line. Once you get it up in there, then you can work the actual hook. So that's a nice little tip there for you. Obviously, this is not an expensive tool, so once it's been used, you could probably keep using it. I'll just buy another one since this one's been up a little bit. These run about five, I think, to 10 bucks, nothing to it. So ultimately, once you clean out all of that gunk, the next step is to pump the forks. So obviously I just pulled the bike off the stand, pumped the forks five to 10 times, which will be left with a little bit of oil residue. Now that oil residue, as it's left more and more, you repeat the process over and over. Clean, clean uh, multiple uh, sweeps, so around three circles, um, wipe everything clean, and then pump the forks 10 times. And if you, as you get left, or as you continue, Ultimately, you should see less and less oil residue. Now, the key to this also is the, that the seal itself could be cleaned, but the seal needs reseeded. And that's what we're doing whenever we pump the fork. So you pump the fork um, over and over and over. Ultimately, that will reseat the seal. So like for me, I've continued to, to pump. I've only pumped these forks about 10 times on my last turn, and I still have just a little bit of oil residue. 
more than likely the seal has not seated completely yet and actually riding the bike will reseat it. So I'll definitely just do this and keep an eye on it. But after pulling the dirt out and reseating everything and cleaning everything up, the dust cap just gets pressed back up into the fork and everything should be good to go. Now you think we're done? We're not. Of course we have lost oil from the fork so we want both forks to act as they should together. That means if you've lost oil, you absolutely need to remove the fork and check the oil level of the fork. And that will be the last step for me to do. So what did this do for me? Ultimately, this $10 tool probably saved me a lot more time and a lot more money of putting new seals in my KYB forks that have maybe 50 hours on them. So I gotta give the seal saver two thumbs up just because it's easy to use. It has a great reputation. If you go out there on other um, YouTube videos and people that use the seal saver on all different kinds of bikes, that they have brought seals back to life ultimately, ultimately by just cleaning them. They're not really doing anything uh, majestic. You know, they're not restoring the seal. They're just cleaning the seals because dirt gets caught up in there and they get past the dirt, the dust cover. So I gotta give it a two thumbs up. So if you guys have leaky forks, give the seal saver a try. And uh, that's pretty much all I got. Hopefully this has been informative, you guys. Hopefully this has been hopefully this has been informative for you guys. Hope you get out there, get on two wheels, ride a dirt bike. This is Accelerate once again, signing off.